Hello folks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can secure your freshly installed Jenkins server. There are a few things that you can do to enhance the security of the server. For example, changing the admin password and then removing the password file and setting some access on your global security of your Jenkins itself. So let us go ahead and see how you can do some of those things. Here I am in my dashboard of my freshly installed Jenkins server. And one of the foremost thing that I would recommend you to go do is go ahead and go to your admin user and then go to configure section. If you have not changed the default password that was given by the initial installation, go ahead and change that. So that is the first thing that I would strongly recommend anybody to do that. So once you do this, then you should definitely create some other users so that they can perform the function and not use your uh, admin credentials itself. So after you changing the password, I would also recommend you to remove the file from your server also. So I am in the home directory of my Jenkins server and in your home directory, you will find a folder which is called as secrets. And under secrets, you will find a path of, or a file called as in, initial admin password. So I would strongly recommend you to go ahead and remove this file. So secrets. So let's go ahead and remove this regular file. So that is another step that I would recommend you to do. Then let us go ahead and see what else we can do. We are back on the Jenkins portal and go back to Jenkins and manage Jenkins. You will have something called as configure global security. So if you don't see a checkbox uh, here checked, go ahead and check them. That's the first thing. And depending upon your installation, whether you want to use your Jenkins own database or your LDAP server or Unix, go ahead and choose them. The next thing is I, I would recommend you to disable this and go for something like a project based metrics authorization, or you can also use the plugin for role based access. There's another plugin available which allows you to do certain actions here. Here, if you choose here, uh, you can go ahead and add some users and give them administrative privileges or you can choose privileges based on the users that you want to say. For example, all authenticators, authenticated users can do everything. Go ahead and check that. Say, for example, you have another user which is called as Dave and Dave is an admin here. And as of now, there is no user. So that's why you see a mark there. But if you want to give Dave the administrative permission, then you go ahead and check that and click on apply. So that is another step that I would strongly recommend you to go ahead and do that. If we scroll down to the bottom of this page, you will find that if an SSHD server is running, make sure you're running it uh, or you make sure you're disabling it. And if you have to run it, uh, make sure that you run it on different port other than port 22 so that you don't get unnecessary attempts of hacking that is trying to ac get access to your Jenkins server. So these are the basic things. If you know some other things to enhance the security of your Jenkins server, go ahead and put them in the comment section. We can learn from each other and make our installations better. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.